We began this broadcast, the man you're seeing there, Cristiano Ronaldo, was sitting, as is his wont these days, alone, on the steps, cutting quite a lonely fit. So much of what he does is sculpted and scripted, as the referee, uh, Gonzalez Gonzalez, nearly fumbled. Solitary, and I'll tell you, while every manager in Cristiano's heyday would have tried to sign him, I know many, many managers, I have met many managers, who wouldn't allow solitary to be a strange creature. Strange keep creature, but the talent in the boots, absolutely undeniable. Here's the lineup selected by Zinedine Zidane today. No changes at the back, the strongest uh, back four. Kayla Navas in goal, Carvajal, Varane, Ramos and Marcelo. There are, however, changes in midfield with Asensio and Lucas coming in to play alongside Modric and Cruz up front. Since uh, Real Sociedad conceded fewer than ever, three, four or five goals. Lining up for the Basques today, Geronimo Rulli in goal, Alvaro Odriazola, Elustondo, Navas and Alberto de la Bea at the back. Xavi Prieto, Asier Iaramendi and David Zuratuza back in the starting lineup after recovering from injury. And up front, Sergio Canales, Juanmi and Mikel Oyarzabal. There's a name missing there, Graham, and that's William Jose. Picked up an injury, he's going to be out for a while. Total recuperation. It does give an opportunity for Juanmi to get back in the starting lineup today. Madrid, of course, playing all in white get things underway and Danny Carvajal for that one but Zinedine Zidane selecting his uh, first choice back for it's good ball over the top from Marcelo a little bit fortunate Ronaldo with the rebound gets the cross in and what a fantastic start for Real Madrid Lucas Basquez getting on the end of Ronaldo's cross Cristiano Ronaldo turned assist giver he showed the patience to wait until he could see the gap for the cross of the Athola gave it to him and Lucas Basquez met it what a start for Real Madrid with barely a minute on the clock your call's perfect here there was a number of uh, players in orange with their hands up looking for offside prior to this the weight is great watch when the delivery comes in Lucas doesn't score many goals now he's not tall either he's got to go backwards this is all about timing and the power of neck muscles because he directs it top corner over Ruli. If this, if we were watching a striker who was famous for his headers, we'd be saying 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for that. For a kid like Lucas who isn't an expert in scoring goals of the world famous, the crowd are very hostile indeed. Marcelo stealing that one from Pietro, gets into the box, it falls for Benzema, off the base of the post, will carry him Benzema. It's as if your commentaries blended together, what was about to happen was Marcelo burst through and the ball let, landed at Benzema's face. The crowd heard ball is fantastic because he takes it on the run as we look at that little jab and he, he, he slaps it in a Scottish word. He doesn't get a full contact on it, Benzema, which might have been enough to fool the goalkeeper, but Lucas's ball on the run picked the ball up off Lucas. Here is Lucas, gets into the area, looking for Benzema. Benzema returning it to Lucas Basquet, the score of the only goal so far. Ronaldo with the control. Only just to find Asensio. Asensio does brilliantly. Marcelo on the overlap, cutting it back to Ronaldo. It's a simple and a beautiful game when it's played like that. Ronaldo makes it 2-0. 27 minutes on the clock, Real Sociedad know that tonight is going to be a long night in the Santiago Bernabeu. I think you're going to claim I've got shares in Asensio. The ball from Marcelo, yeah, 10 out of 10. The finish, CR7 out of 10. But look at Asensio, Simon. It may be the tiniest part of this three-part move, but he needs to have eyes in the back of his head. He turns inside, he's seen Marcelo, and the release is there. The release is perfect, so Marcelo has space to see the cutback, and he makes it perfect for CR7. That little piece of joy from Asensio, absolutely perfect, so that the maestro can do enough to get the ball underneath, only just Rui. And people will always remember the assist and the goal. But boy, oh boy, has this been another moment in the development of Asensio after so many months when he was not trusted, benched, rarely used by Sedan, and tonight, boy, it's coming up aces for him. Well, it certainly is, and uh, I think, again, that's another demonstration of the Frenchman's man-manager. About the finishes and the creation, 
that bodes well for this game and for the Champions League. Modric sets Ronaldo through, he has a look to his left, but decides to take it on, gets away from Ruli, cutting it back for Benzema, who cannot score again. Uh, I'm with you in the, in the sort of high comedy of the events. I'm with you in your, I know deep down you've got sympathies for Benzema, but look at the interception. And, and also we have to comment that this is about typical Ronaldo because he knows he's going by right and he just gets muddled up with his feet and as Benzema strikes... Give up, the corner comes in. Varane was up for it. In the end, Raul Navas hooked it away. It's headed clear by Elustondo only as far as Marcelo. Marcelo seeing the sign of... Off the post from Ronaldo. Brilliant play from Varane. Ronaldo down. Now look at this. This is where it's a little bit... Unfortunate for Ronaldo. So many times this season we've seen and talked about mishits, lack of timing. Now he gets that in the middle of his instep and steers it properly. He's just the man the ball for Real Madrid, supported here by Tony Cruz. Cruz wide to Lucas Basquez, gets into the penalty area. Square to Cruz, he tries a typical Tony Cruz finish. That is sheer quality from the German. We've seen him do that on any number of occasions. Unstoppable for Geronimo Rulli. You may as well bite your fingers, Eusebio. He's going to have very few nails left if this goes on the way it is. We're seeing Real Sociedad, who lack teeth, and Real Madrid, who are on the ball. There's an expression that the camera never lies, Simon. But that's a lie. Because you're going to see Tony Cruz. The camera's going to tell you he scored this with his eyes open. I'm telling you, he could have shut his eyes and that was radar controlled off the inside of his right boot into that top corner. And before he struck it, he knew that it was going there. That was, that was a man perfectly in control of his machinery, his muscles, and the muscle memory said to him, before he even approached the ball, I'm going to score. I th that was a thing of absolute sheer footballing poetry. Yeah, so well. Modric with the corner. It's greeted with elegance by Cristiano Ronaldo. It's 4-0 to Real Madrid. Ronaldo back amongst the scorers again. It's a brilliant header. It's Ronaldo's trademark leap. Uh, well above the height of the rival defence but it's also so easy it's almost like a training ground corner practice for Real Madrid you've nailed it from the start about not just the crispness the efficacy of Real Madrid but the fact that it looks like a friendly performance from Real Sociedad they should be if anything they should be brutally unfriendly nobody gets up with him nobody tries to block him he's now scored two made one hit the post, missed another one that looked really easy to score. He's a man who, despite being the most prolific scorer in the history of Real Madrid, has been out of form, has been struggling to find this kind of space and time in front of goal to that, playing some of the football of the last five or six years, and he's taken them to Europe, let's not forget. Marcelo bursting through, he gets away from his first man, cuts it back to Asensio. It should be eight or nine. It should be eight or nine nil by now. Well, it should be Navas saved one brilliantly from Benzema. I think that's De La Bella who's going to be getting off the ground, having just got his body in the way of a sense of scoring. Um, rather than the total, I think you've called it right from the start. That's brutally concerning that Real Sociedad. In comes the corner. And that just clipped the outside of the woodwork. Smile on Juanmi's face. That's a better start there from the visitors Juan Carlos Andres the number two to Eusebio they should urging them on from the uh, sidelines there should be a feeling now amongst them gosh for Real Madrid there again Cruz's effort maybe just had Ronaldo slightly in the way there too we had to in the wall, yeah. So he needs to have a little deft head flick to fulfill our predictions. Here's a Yara! Just onto the roof of the net. It was nicely struck. If had it been a couple of yards further back, that might have really tested Navas. There wasn't a whole lot wrong with that. It's a difficult art. Everybody uses the phrase now to get it up and down. The wall's right. Let's go. 
lost his footing and seemed to give up on it. Here's uh, Oya Fabal. Chance now for Bautista. Nice finish. And that is a bit of consolation for Real Sofia. That the defence caught completely wrong footed there. And uh, I don't think Zinedine Zidane will be too happy with that. We were talking about Real Sofia. That's lack of intensity in the first half. I think we could talk about the Madrid defences. Uh, lack of intensity on this one. It's a lovely little pass from uh, one team, one youngster to another who comes through the system. Because when this is passed from Bertabal, it's into space for the right footed Batista, who finishes really well. It's his first goal this season, and every time he scored before in La Liga, this is going to be an exception. It's meant a point, a draw, or a win for Real Sociedad. The key to that move is Zubeldia, see again last week. We that they've got to sleep in this second half will not impress Zidane at all. Bale winning the header, finding Ronaldo just brilliantly to keep his balance. Bale looking to curl it, it's spilled by Rooney. There's the hat trick for CR7. First hat trick of the season in La Liga. It's taken 22 games to come. Cristiano Ronaldo makes it 5 1 to Real Madrid. Geronimo really hasn't had a great night, ignoring instructions from Iara about what to do. The beauty of Bale is that he does what we talk about, and we've now seen the reason why Navas and Iaramendi, as we see a failure of something to do his job, and Geronimo really spooning that out into Cristiano Ronaldo's way. But questions will remain about Bale being on or offside, and at first glance, and on repeat, although not from a perfect angle, it does look as if the Welshman's offside. I can understand why Navas and Iara were criticised. He's played short. Oh, yeah, Thabal. Overhits the cross, although Juanmi keeps it in play! And it's Iara who scores on his return, or one of his many returns to his former home. Asier Iaramendi gets yet more consolation for the Churi Urdin. 5-2 the score. Wami well, is not a particularly tall player. He's not even particularly famed for winning the ball in the air. But everything that has come his way, that's his uh, farewell, thank you and good night. As we look at the, the space and time, there isn't anybody awake. Carvajal rests on his laurels. Wami's well, a little nod back for the move over Yaramendi to, to volley at home or on the bounce volley at home. It's just... It's horrible the way that Remini don't react to the corner, don't react to the fact that there are two guys going over there. Carvajal, once he sees it happening, doesn't move quickly enough. Juan Mies maybe won five headers in the second half, and you said accurately that in the first half, you... Oh,